Starting with level zero, the noob. This is the AKA your friend who fixes your Wi-Fi password for you. You know this person all too well. They stumbled upon your neighbor's Wi-Fi password and now they're convinced they're the next Kevin Mitnick. They are the ones who crack courses in outdated tech lingo like mainframe and firewall used with zero iron, changing their Instagram username to Cyber Ninja, and flooding their feed with command prompt screenshots captioned. Just hacked NASA now. They might even brag about cracking a captcha or survey site unaware. Some are watching this video now, and if you are one of them, I have something for you. Before I continue, I want to use this opportunity to tell you that you can upgrade yourself now because you need deeper hands and explanations. I created a policy point learning community for you, a place where I can share everything. When you join, you're not just getting another course, you're getting access to complete ethical hacking guides, the tools and techniques I wish someone had handed me when I was starting out. And here's the kicker. This is the stuff I don't teach on here. No watered down content, no clickbait. Just raw, actionable knowledge. On top of that, you'll join an exclusive community on Discord. I pinned the link in the comments section below, but it's not for everyone. The link is only available for those who are serious about the journey. Level 1 of Hacking The Script Kitty, also known as the Human Copy and Paste Machine, these digital wannabes have just discovered GitHub and believe downloading someone else's code transforms them into elite hackers overnight. They execute scripts they can't even read shamelessly claiming credit for exploits crafted by real coders, and their desktops are a chaotic wasteland. Their vocabulary is a glorious mess, an aggressive keyboard smash is meant to terrify their little sister. They might even record themselves hacking with dramatic music, only to accidentally format their hard drive. Fun fact is they've probably locked themselves out of their their own computer more times than they've successfully hacked anything, turning their PC into a digital fortress they can't breach. If you're among them, the policy point committee is for you now. Level of Hacking 2 The ethical hacker, aka I swear I'm one of the good guys. These budding hackers have realized that staying legal is not only ethical, but pretty cool. They're knee-deep in studying for their C certification, setting up home labs with racks of servers that cost more than their car, and patiently explaining to their parents for the 47th time that their late night typing is a legit career move. And they won't end up in handcuffs. They might even volunteer at local hackathons to prove their goodwill, armed with a laptop with Kali Linux on their biggest struggle, trying to look cool at parties while admitting they're the boring kind of hacker who patches vulnerabilities for companies instead of pulling off heist level of hacking three. The penetration testing professional, aka I got the license to hack people. These are the hackers who have hit the big leagues. They trade hoodies for business casual, polished up LinkedIn profiles with buzzwords like ethical hacking experts and can explain the intricacies of CQL injection to a board of directors. Without a single pawn slipping out, they've achieved the holy grail, a paycheck for thinking like a criminal while keeping their record spotless. Their days involve stress testing, corporate firewalls, and dodging endless compliance forms. But here's the kicker. They spend 85% of their time drafting detailed reports that executives skim for two seconds, justifying why that one critical vulnerability could sink the company, and fighting the urge to scream when a clueless manager asks if they can just hack the competition real quick to gain an edge. Before I move on to the next level, what if you wanted to protect yourself from hackers no matter their skill level? Let's use SIM swap attacks, for instance. This is a very powerful hacking tactic that can ruin your life because some hacker can basically steal your phone number to hijack and get instant access to your accounts. So how does it happen? Hackers target your phone number by tricking your carrier, often with stolen personal info like your name or address grab from data breaches. They pose as you, claiming a lost or damaged SIM, and convince the carrier to reassign your number to a new SIM they control. Once they've got it, they intercept your calls, texts, and two-factor authentication codes, unlocking your accounts, banking, email, and everything in minutes. It's a tactic used by both script kitties and pro hackers. That's why I'm so glad that the Policy Point Committee is here for you. Make sure to check out the link in the description or comment section. Level of Hacking 4, the Bug Bounty Hunter, aka living the digital dream sword of the modern day. Bounty hunters roam from coffee shop to coffee shop laptops, glowing hunting vulnerabilities in major websites for a payout. They're the Instagram idols of the hacking world, sipping lattes while raking in bug bounties or so the story goes. In reality, for every $10,000 jackpot tale you hear, thousands of researchers grind for months, sifting through code for a measly $50 reward just to afford their next caffeine fix. They might even camp out at a 24-hour diner. Fueled by energy drinks and desperation, they've perfected the art of looking insanely busy, headphones on, fingers flying while secretly debating if that potential 
potential XSS vulnerability is worth another 14-hour debugging marathon. Their browser bookmarks a wild 90% testing tools and 10% therapy websites to cope with the grind. Level of Hacking 5 The Red Teamer, aka The Hacking. These seasoned pros are the cyber equivalent of a SWAT team trained to storm corporate defenses with precision. They craft sophisticated attacks, think spear phishing emails, custom malware, and zero-day exploits, pushing security to its limits. Their battle scars come from late-night ops like 3AM Drill, where they cracked a network in under an hour. Their war tales triumph, like outsmarting a firewall with a rogue USB drop. Epic fails like the rookie who triggered a real alarm during a test. They know the IT crew will scramble, but they also know John from HR will click that fake bonus check email even at this ungodly hour. They've ditched the dream of impenetrable systems, embracing the thrill of chaos instead fueled by midnight energy shots to keep the pressure on. Level 6. The Nation State Operative. AKA My Job doesn't exist on LinkedIn. We're venturing into shadowy territory where job descriptions are locked in classified vaults, and coffee meetings occur in soundproof rooms with armed guards. These hackers work for governments juggling security clearances that require more paperwork than a home mortgage, and can't even hint to their spouse what they did at work. Vague murmurs of office stuff are their go-to excuse. Their missions might involve tapping into enemy networks or planting digital tripwires. They operate in the silent trenches of international cyber warfare, where a single line of code can shift geopolitical power or spark a global crisis. Their skills are the stuff of legend. Their existence is whispered about in conspiracy circles, and their stress levels are likely astronomical, fueled by the weight of national security. If you're on this level, you don't need a policy point committee, so don't worry about the link. Level 7, the APT group leader, aka the legendary hackers. These are the masterminds orchestrating advanced persistent threats attacks that unfold over years, not hours, with the precision of a grand chess master. They're patient, methodical, and always three moves ahead, plotting in secret while script kitties flail at defacing websites with neon graffiti. Their strategies are jaw-dropping, infiltrating a power grid to cause blackouts, slipping into a bank's core systems to siphon millions, or embedding spyware in government networks, all while leaving no digital footprint until the damage erupts. Just last night, one group allegedly compromised a European energy firm, a move still under investigation. Their war stories are the stuff of legend, pulling off a multi-year espionage campaign against a rival nation, raking in a $50 million ransomware payout and a near miss when a careless team member almost leaked a chat log to the NSA. They coordinate teams across continents, coders in Asia, social engineers in Europe, and malware experts in South America, maintaining operational security so tight it would make James Bond jealous with encrypted comms and burner devices swapped like candy. Their campaigns are so sophisticated that they're unmasking, like the 2021 Solar Winds revelation sends shockwaves through international headlines, leaving governments scrambling. They know the feds are on their tail, but they also know Jenny from Compliance will still fall for that urgent tax refund email. Even now, they're the final bosses of the hacking world, pulling strings from the digital shadows with a cool, calculated demeanor, sipping espresso as the world burns.